My name's Chaz Bruns, and I travel the world in search of the cheapest food, hostels, transportation, and tours so you don't have to. Which means you're going to get to find out some of the best places in the world to eat, some of the best people in the world to meet, Howdy, partner. and where to go to have a damn good time. And the best part is, I'm going to show you how to do it all dirt cheap. Today I'm headed to Laguna Beach, playground for the rich and famous. I'm lucky enough to have a layover here. What's up, everybody? I know it's been a few years since I've released anything, um, mostly because of coronavirus. I've also, in the meantime, been doing a podcast with my friend uh, Kat, so make sure to check that out, uh, Chasms of the Mind. Um, and I'm actually in Laguna Beach for like 24 hours on a layover uh, with my one of my good friends, uh, John Gillis. So we're going to be um, going to some restaurants and checking some stuff out, and I hope you like it. Hey guys, I'm Danny. And I'm Kelly. You're uh, coming in live from Laguna. Woo! <laughs> you know what? Get down here. The beach is always free, always fun. Lots of hot, sober blonde bay. One of my favorite spots is the Cliff Bar. You can sit right on the cliff. You can have chips and salsa, watch the dolphins play. And of course, Wylands. Going into the art gallery is dope, so yeah. There's yeah. a cute bistro down there called Moulin, and there's a lot of good shopping. Um, oh, and so much good shopping. Yes, yeah. um, affordable, and uh, we love it, so. yeah. If you're out here in Laguna, just know that while this is like one of the most major party cities and it's totally fun to come out here and party, you don't have to get drunk. You don't even have to drink. You can have, come out here and have a great time, do it totally sober, do all the same things that you would normally do sober. You're present, you remember, there's no hangover, there's no anxiety, there's no regrets, you don't end up in jail. Um, but if this is a problem for you and you need help, check out the Sober app or come follow us on Instagram at the sober.app or myself, um, Danny underscore socially. And uh, let me know if you're struggling and I will help you. <laughs> so over the years, a lot of you guys have commented that I drink an awful lot on these episodes, which I admit. Um, so because I've got such a quick lay over here um, and I just met the, the sober blonde babes there at the beach, I think for this episode, we'll have no drinking. We're gonna, we're gonna do uh, food, art, and beach. Healthy lifestyle. First order of business, gotta get some uh, food in my belly. Feeling like a breakfast taco overlooking the beach at Wild Taco. Wild Taco is a Baja-inspired eatery with local ingredients and local caught protein. Smells damn good in here. I got a breakfast taco. Cheap and delicious. And since this episode's mostly about food, I'm gonna take you over to Earth Cafe. They source local, sustainable, and when possible, organic ingredients. I'm gonna sit outside and check out the view. So the cheapest thing on the menu is an espresso for 325, but it's too damn hot. I had to get some iced. So iced matcha latte, six bucks. So I'm sure you might imagine uh, hotels on Laguna Beach are not cheap. Um, there are a couple hostels, but they're kind of far out and they're completely booked up. Um, so John and I are gonna stay at the Laguna Beach House Hotel. You're gonna wanna try to book it in advance because peak season can get pricey. But certain times of year, you can get a room for 150 bucks a night. Room comes with air conditioning and a fan, which is much needed in the California heat. Also has this cool little uh, tiled sink, subway tiled bathroom, and an awesome deck overlooking the ocean and the hills. Since there's two of us, it's only 75 bucks a piece. They're also known for giving out free chocolate chip cookies and happy hour wine. But in my opinion, the best perk is their sister hotel, The Inn. It's right down the street, so make sure to go take advantage of their amenities. They've got an awesome pool and one of the best views in the city. Now as promised, here's more food. So much ridiculously amazing stuff. I got a freshly baked pastry and it was delicious. One block from our hotel is Heisler Park. 
So I'm going to stroll over there and take in the views. I'm walking on the boardwalk. My name's John. I love Laguna Beach and the sunshine and all these beautiful people. Completely free to come to the beach, play basketball, sit on the grass or the beach. Wonderful. So I lived in LA for about three and a half years in uh, the valley and uh, Kinda gotta say, I wish I had lived here. <laughs> Lacuna Beach is pretty amazing. Uh, it's got everything you would want. The uh, housing, I imagine, completely unaffordable. I don't know what rent, rent would be like here, but if you're gonna move out to the West Coast, um, you might wanna check out Laguna Beach. This is pretty cool. So I've been traveling with my friend John Gillis, but he's been busy working remotely. Today is his first day off, and I talked him to go to the beach with me. His one request was that I didn't film him. So of course, I filmed him. Hi. The beach is awesome. The cool 70 degrees in the water. Love and life. Is it cold? It feels awesome. <laughs> Get out of here, Rudy. <laughs> the beach is free, and I love all the rocks to climb on. <laughs> So there's definitely a ton of shopping. Uh, so if you're into that, you wanna come get some fancy handbags or jewelry, it's um, Park Ave and Forest Ave is where it's at. But I'm cheap and I don't need anything. Hi. So I veered off in Forest Ave a little bit and I stumbled upon um, it's the Dal Dawson Cole uh, Sculpture Museum, I suppose. I think they have an art gallery in the building behind me, um, but they're not open right now. And I don't know if this is always free, but there's nobody here and it's, the park's open and it's, it's beautiful. I spoke with the art gallery and confirmed that it was indeed free. So just walking around Laguna Beach, uh, you see art galleries everywhere. I've never seen so many art galleries uh, kind of nestled into one little uh, downtown like this. So I had to guess this is where the rich and famous come to buy their art. And conveniently across the street from our hotel is the Laguna Art Museum. So the cool part about the museum is that it's 12 bucks, which is affordable, but every first Thursday of the month, it's free. Now for a quick tour of Laguna Village. Tons of cool shopping. This place is very cool. It's got all kinds of little shops from clothing, jewelry, candles, pottery, bracelets, all kinds of stuff. So far, everything I've shown you is walkable from the hotel, but if you don't feel like hoofing it, you can always take the free trolley. Here, keep traveling. Love it. I rode up to the end of the line and got to check out the Ritz Carlton. But it's expensive, and I'm hungry. I'm gonna go find some cheap lunch. I'm headed over to the famous Husky Boy. Gonna get myself a burger. So the cheapest thing on the menu is the kid's meal. Um, if you're too embarrassed to get the kid's meal for uh, $8.99, you can get the burger for $7.49, and the french fries for a small french fry for $2.49, and the drink for $1.99, so it's definitely affordable. And then they've got the breakfast sandwich, uh, comes with coffee, $5.99, can't beat it. But if you're in the mood for something Asian, 
check out this ramen place. I got a Mexican Coke, some dumplings, and a delicious noodle bowl. The amount of food I'll eat in a day for you guys is getting ridiculous. Next stop is the Laguna Art Affair. $10 entry fee gets you access to all the local artists as well as art from around the world. Hi you guys, my name is Saeed Golibek. I'm Persian, Iranian. Here, as you see my booth in Laguna Art Affair, I try to connect the children with wild animals, like wildlife. And uh, so maybe in the future, they are the ones who are gonna protect the animals and care for them. Bye. John just texted me to come meet him for sushi. And I'm glad I did, because this was my favorite restaurant in Laguna Beach. It's run entirely by women, even though some Japanese sushi chefs claim that women's fingers are warmer than men's and therefore are not good at rolling sushi, I would disagree. I'm going to go out on a limb and say it was some of the best sushi I've ever had. Actually, I take that back. It was the best sushi I've ever had. John feasted and loved every bite, but don't just take our word for it. Hi, I'm Bryn. I'm a local Laguna Beach artist, and this is one of my favorite sushi places in town. I've been coming here for the last six months and it's seriously amazing. The fish is so fresh, the, the girls who work here are fantastic and everything is just, it's really different. It's really artsy and beautiful and it's just unlike anything you've ever had. There was no way I was leaving without trying their truffle scallops. And now we're headed over to check out the Sawdust Festival. I'll let this place speak for itself. So um, I think it's official. I, oh, yeah. I need to move to Laguna Beach. This is one of the coolest cities I've ever been to. 77 degrees every day, or 72, 72, 77 degrees. Amazing food, art, festivals, music, ocean. Can't beat it. If by some miracle you're still hungry after all the food we've had today, here's a cheap taco stand. This booth is Backward Prince. It's run by our friend Bren that we met at the sushi restaurant. If you go there, tell her Chaz and John sent you. And to top it all off, you can watch live glass blowing. This is legend John Barber. Make sure to swing by his shop. But the art doesn't stop there. Now we're headed over to Festival of the Arts. $10 entry fee if you just want to check out the art. But I suggest watching Pageant of the Masters. 35 bucks will get you in to see both. So I'm here at the Festival of Arts. Uh, behind me is John Gillis, but he doesn't want his face shown uh, for the episode, so. He'll remain a mystery. So we're, I'm about to walk into the um, the children, I think it's high school kids as well, uh, local artists exhibit. See what's in there.
Now we're going to go take a look at more of the professional adult artists. So as far as I know, 90% of these artists are local Laguna Beach artists, which is incredible because this is world-class caliber art. I've never seen such cool stuff all in one place. <laughs> Look at that. So if you're into art, you definitely want to come to Laguna and check out the Sawdust Festival and the Festival of Art. And it's just about time for us to go watch the Pageant of Masters. And I hate to say it, but filming is not allowed. So you'll just have to use your imagination or go check it out for yourself. It was awesome. As you know, I like to splurge on something in every episode. After all, we are on vacation. And although I have chosen not to drink for this episode, John is ready for a cocktail. And what better place to get it than Hotel Laguna? Because who wouldn't want to watch the sunset over the beach? And yeah, I totally made John switch seats with me so he could film me looking cool. Oh yeah, what a shot. Believe it or not, I finally talked John into being on camera. There you go. It's a cherry wood, okay? I love it. Enjoy. Thank you. You're welcome. I think he killed it. Fantastic. And although his drink looked delicious, I was quite content with the sunset. After John's drink, we decided to stroll along the beach and head back to our hotel. <laughs> so if the drinks over at Larson are a little bit too rich for your blood, stay at the Laguna Beach house. Remember, you can get free wine at five o'clock and uh, you can come over here to the sister hotel. Pretty great view. We were told yesterday is the best kept secret in Laguna Beach. Cheers. I would agree. No, I didn't drink the wine. It was just a prop. And as always, remember that you can do this too. So that's the end of the episode, but I've got some uh, shameless self-promotion releasing an album. Uh, this is one of my songs. Played it during the credits. Hope you guys like it. Click the link below to check out the full album. Exciting, you might as well go find it out. If there's something more inviting, you might as well go try it out. Cause they taught you what you get is what you see, is what you see. The problem is that you let them tell you what you should be. What you get is what you see, it's what you see. The problem
promise that you let them tell you 